hello welcome back uh, in this video we're going to talk about how we can use the aggregated based filter so by aggregation I mean is like you know you want to select the cities w which has a sale of certain value aggregated sale not the line item the aggregated sale so uh, you can do that without um, applying you know making a table you can do that directly from the field in click so let's see how we do that and this is a very very powerful trick so the trick is that we have to start with this equal to sign and we have to write the expression so let's just write this expression so I uh, this is very a bit unfortunate that uh, the field does not come automatically here but we need to know that my field name is sales amount and if I say my field sales amount greater than 100,000 and then I have to click enter once I do that if you see cities has been selected and the sales amount has changed and the sit, uh, it has been sorted by ascending order and only sales which are by city are greater than 100,000 they are available and now if I just do the selection if you see there are sales but because the way I did the selection it worked that only cities which has sales greater than which uh, 100,000 which I did through this particular filter just by using expression and furthermore uh, we can use this particular the filtering criteria in a set analysis as well uh, and let's see how we can do that now I have a product here so I'm gonna do same here sum of sales amount greater than 100,000 uh, is product so let's just uh, go with um, 150,000 okay and here we go so we have sale of 1.7 million okay now I'm going to go to the added part and I'm going to add a year here and I'm gonna use sales amount I have declared a year as well so I'm gonna do that and then if just before the year or I can write it like this as well sum of sales amount and with the new set in us the syntax I'm going to use that so I'm gonna come in here I'm gonna use set expression use current selection I'm gonna click here and you see it automatically use this particular expression here and I'm gonna click apply and, and I'm gonna call it filtered sale Currently, there is a filter applied, so the both sales are equal. But now, let's see what if I remove the sales. So you see, this doesn't change. This has changed. Uh, so this is total sales, and this is the sales, filtered sales where the product only for the big product. So this where the product sales increased uh, has more is more than one fifty thousand, which is a big product. So major product sales are here so that's it how you can do the dynamic filtering based uh, sorry aggregated filters based on certain measures uh, on a different dimension and you can also use them in your set analysis thank you very much